Hi, today I would like to talk about the web sockets using C Sharp and IIS. So let's get started. Uh, I would also recommend that looking at my other uh, uh, web socket uh, call that I did and it's basically based on that and that was done using Node.js. So let's get started. I'm going to show you my index.html. It's pretty straightforward. It uses jQuery. I'm adding a file called websocket.js and uh, that's pretty much it and here i have an input text where i can type in my name so i have a default value of yogi then i can have a some message and uh, that message is sent and when here is some output that i can show the log output so that's pretty much what the all the html is in the websocket.js uh, uh, file uh, on load when the window on load function happens this is what we are going to do when the send button on click uh, i have a url uh, because i would have this running on is and i'm going to show it to you i get the name and i send it to this uh, using a protocol ws which is the websocket protocol and i'm going to send this variable chat name is equal to whatever name i put in here uh, the way you use it in uh, javascript uh, on the client side is pretty straightforward you just say new websocket on open you would do some things on message i'm just logging the data and this is how you send the message to the server using wsm and log is just logging in output uh, the best way to do this at least i found in this is to use the microsoft web sockets and uh, to use microsoft web sockets you want to uh, install a package called uh, let me see the microsoft web sockets package and that's the easiest way to use it and uh, i'm going to demonstrate using that uh, so what i have done here is i have added an asp.net handler and when you do the handler you uh, create a dummy class or create a web socket server class uh, all i've done is inside the process request i'm going to check for something like this is saying is is this a web socket request and then if it is then i'm going to say accept the websocket request and call this new microsoft websocket from this and that's pretty much it and in the new microsoft websockets you can see uh, essentially it uh, is using microsoft.websockets it's uh, inheriting from websocket handler uh, here uh, what we do is we create some call in the websocket collection so you can do a broadcast using clients uh, first time I get an open I'm getting the chat name as you can see here I added the client and then it says this uh, particular client has connected and then it essentially starts a timer and every 200 second 200 milliseconds it's going to spit out a message every two seconds sorry and this is the elapsed event the broadcast and the remove and when it's closed it's basically going to remove it another thing you want to make sure in your web config uh, server for web servers uh, what you do want to have is a handler where it, we specify that for ASHX requests that are coming in that we saw for the WebSocket. We want it to be ha uh, handled by the WebSocket server here and this is how uh, this should work. So let me just demonstrate this you on IS and I will go over there. So now I'm back on the WebSocket uh, IS machine to kind of show you what it is. So if you go into default website, you want to go into configuration editor to make sure that the web sockets are enabled and i have it enabled so i think we are all good uh, that's all you need to do and make sure uh, the protocol is enabled in is so i have that so i'm going to close this uh, here i have this uh, demo running already on two of these uh, uh, windows in chrome and what i've done is in one of them i had a name of yogi and then the other name i had yogi 2 and this is all uh, already running and you can if you go to the scroll to the very bottom you can see where it says yogi has connected so uh, i'm going to show you uh, just this from the beginning in a third uh, window here basically and uh, let's just open the inspector so we can see all the switching of the protocol and everything else so here i have just started it and i'm going to call this yogi 3 and i'm going to do a send so you see yogi 3 has connected opening of the web socket and then the server sends uh, start setting the lab socket message and if i look at my network activity you can see here it is uh, uh, in the web sockets uh, you can see the frames coming in if you look at the headers you could see here is the one-on-one -on -one switching protocols 
and in the frames you can see the messages for the web sockets coming down so this is a short screencast of how you can use web sockets with is in c sharp if you want to learn you can uh, go to my uh, website uh, or associates and uh, check for these and other videos thank you for watching this short screencast